Hey man, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, X.E.L. O. Today we're going to be going over some of the SWS extensions, how to install it, and some of the repacks and how to install that as well inside of Reaper. Let's go. Story time. When I first started using Reaper, I went to a lot of pages and I seen a lot of really cool things that people were doing inside of Reaper and I didn't know how to do it. And the only thing they would tell me is, hey, download the SWS file extension or download it from Reapack. And I'm like, I have no idea what that is. So I uh, decided to make this video to kind of explain and show you guys how to do it inside of Reaper. First, let's go to the Reaper website. All right, so I'm at reaper.fm. Uh, you can download Reaper here. Just click on download and it'll take you to the download section. You could download it for Windows, Mac, and also Linux. And the Reaper file is so small, it can actually fit on a thumb drive. But what they didn't tell me was that they have this option up here that says resources. When you click on resources, it gives you an option for language packages. So that's if you speak another language that you wanted to read that inside of Reaper. They have different languages you can actually install with this package. So you have an option for themes. So if you click on themes, it's the same as this Reaper stash. It's the same place it's gonna take you. I definitely or highly suggest to get a theme. I am a person that uses different themes myself. I use Peace right now. That is my favorite one that I'm actually using. I also use the one that looks like Cakewalk, which is called Echoes. I believe that's how you say it. And the other one would be the default Kamala 5. Those are the three that I usually use. You also have other ones for Logic, FL, Pro Tools. All these things are actually inside the themes option. So I'm gonna go to the Reaper stash so you can kind of see what it looks like. So they have themes um, for the you know your resources out here. So you have different things right here on this category side. So you can do custom actions. Some people have made scripts for custom actions, some extensions and plugins. So there's different things you can do from the Reaper stash. If someone tells you go to Reaper stash, just go to the reaper.fm page and click on the Reaper stash. That way you'll get there a lot faster. All right, so what we came with this video for the SWS Reaper extension, you click on that. It'll bring you to this page. You wanna scroll down and you wanna choose your operating system. Hit on download. And for Windows, it makes a EXE file, so it'll execute the file itself. All right, and it brings up this option for the license agreement. You hit agree. And it's gonna find where your Reaper is actually located. And mine is on my C program files. You will hit next. And then it's basically asking you what scripts you wanna run or set up on here. So it'll have the SWS extension, Python, and Grooves. And then you just hit install. All right, so once that's installed, we're gonna go inside of Reaper, and now you see this new tab up here that says extensions. And you have your about SWS extensions here, some different options that you actually have from just installing the extensions. All right, and once you finish installing that, then you wanna actually go to where it has Reapack. Click on that, and it brings you to the Reapack page and you have your options over here to actually download for Mac, Windows, or Linux, whichever one you wanna do. And it also has a couple of videos for instructions for it as well. If you wanted to do the user guide, you can actually click on here at the top, it says user guide, click on that, and it gives you a step-by-step -step installation of how to actually use it inside of Reaper. I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick as well. So let's go to Reaper. All right, so once you download it, you want to go up to Options inside the Reaper and go to Show Resource Path in Explore Finder. All right, and then your uh, file will pop up here. You want to close out of Reaper. Then what you want to do is scroll down and you're going to see an option that says User Plugins. Once you click on that, you want to drag in Reapack. And I have mine for the 64-bit, the DLL file. You'll just drag this in and then you can close this out. And guess what? You're all done. Now, when you open up Reaper and you go up to your extensions, you have an option in here for Reapack now. So now you have an option to synchronize packages, browse packages, import repositories or manage. So if you go to, uh, let's say we want to import one, right? It'll give this little pop-up screen here. So let's download one from the site. Uh, if you go to this repository list, I would highly suggest to download the ones that have the stars next to them. And it's pretty easy to download. So you just right click on it and then you go to copy link address, but let's choose another one. 
All right, so I'm gonna do this one right here, this Sonic Anomaly. So I'm gonna right click on here. I'm gonna copy this address. I'm gonna go here to where it says Import Repository. Right click on there and paste. And this hit OK. And it should have loaded that repository. So if I go to Manage Repositories. So here is the Sonic Anomaly at the bottom here. So I can just double click on it and it'll bring up this window that will tell me about it. So I, it'll tell you what's in the package. So it'll tell me all the options that are in the package. It'll tell me what is already installed on the computer. So right now, none of them are actually installed. So if I go back to packages and I hit on install, it'll give me an option to install all packages in this repository. I can do them individually or I can just do the, an update for it. So let's just install from the package. And now it's asking me, uh, do you want Reapack to install new packages from this repository when synchronizing in the future. And I'm going to hit yes. So anytime they do an update for this package, you'll actually get it set up inside of Reaper. All right. And this is the transaction report. It basically tells me what I actually installed from the package. And guess what? I'm all done. I can close all of this out. Hit OK. And now I have those plugins inside of Reaper. If I go to new, it'll tell me all the new plugins that I just loaded up inside of Reaper which is really, really cool. All right, like I said, this is like a quick review of how to actually load in the repack in the SWS files and how they are be useful to you in the future. Uh, make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to this video, seeing that this is a brand new channel. Um, if you wanna actually support the channel, I have a link below for a PayPal and a Cash App. And if you wanna check out any of my other services, definitely check them out at xelohh.com. And thank you guys for joining me. And welcome to Learning Reaper. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.